Hello and welcome back to Do News. I am your host, the King of Do. Going to take a quick look at the markets and then we're going to dive into some news. We're going to keep this one short today. Not a lot going on um, out there. I covered a lot the last few days and uh, just going to clean up uh, a little bit of extra news that I found interesting for you guys. Um, but I want to encourage you guys that um, it, uh, not to freak out. A lot of blood again today out there in the markets. Uh, Bitcoin's down about three and a half right now, but Ethereum is actually making quite the rally just in the last few minutes, actually, um, kind of bouncing uh, pretty hard here, and um, we'll have to just wait and see. Um, essentially, what's going on um, that's being reported by multiple sources, um, and there's actually proof of it in some circumstances, of uh, these ICOs are cashing out. They're getting the funds that they need to, um, you know, actually start the development hopefully um it's interesting though because um you know it's it's putting so much pressure downward on the markets you have to ask yourself are some other um icos out there considering um cashing out sooner than they had planned because if the price keeps going down they're not going to get as much um out of their funding so Kind of an interesting concept, this idea that the ICOs themselves could actually crash our market down um, and actually force a correction. Um, pretty fascinating stuff. Um, it's going to present a really good buying opportunity uh, for sure. And um, we're just, we're just going to have to hold on for a ride. But um, it looks like uh, we may have hit the, the bottom for today and things may actually flatten out. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, this is one of those things, though, that uh, it's it potentially um, it could get a lot worse before it gets better. Uh, but this uh, this is a pretty healthy uh, pullback. Um, things have been fantastic last few months, so we can't really complain, right? Uh, this is bound to happen. Um, uh, the biggest losers, though, right now is Stratus. 25% is huge. Um, just massive uh, amounts of Stratus getting dumped. Uh, not sure why. If you have any inside information on that, feel free to share it in the comments. Um, I haven't been able to find anything on Stratus as to why the dumping is occurring so aggressively. Um, definitely some people were essentially made millionaires on Stratus, so uh, maybe some of those people are just saying it's time to uh, take what I can get and buy my Lambo. Um, so, yeah, even the Tether isn't doing that strongly, considering the downturn uh, in the market right now. So, just a really rough day, not seeing any green on this screen. I'm scrolling a long ways down. The only thing I can see here is Sibcoin, um, and that's pretty much it in the top 100. So, um, if you have money in the markets, you are down today. Capitalization, $90 billion right now, um, and uh, we'll see how low that goes. Um Definitely some money moving out, but just a normal day. Pour yourself a glass of wine as the roller coaster goes down uh, the track because uh, it won't be long before we're back up on the top again. All right. All right, guys. So let's get into this news a little bit. Uh, open Ledger here. Uh, basically uh, working on an all-in-one payment card. And I actually just talked about this, uh, I believe it was this week, maybe last week, about the, the game changer that needs to exist. Um, I've been hoping that Dash would be the first to do this. Um, I keep speculating that they're working on something like this in the background. Uh, but um, here we have an announcement of an actual card that essentially is going to allow you to exchange any cryptocurrency you own any of them that's their goal is that all the cryptocurrencies can essentially exchange through their particular uh coin and um yeah you should be able to just spend your money at will anywhere in the world um your money can freely flow in and out um through the card so it's really cool uh i think it's uh definitely a ico to pay attention to uh and uh watch closely and they're calling it ocash Maybe it's zero cash. I don't know. Um, but it looks like a giant O there. So check that out, guys. Check it out. Uh, I wanted to touch on Genesis mining real quick. Um, I don't push this, and I don't do the whole referral code thing. But 
Um, and that's only because I haven't purchased any contracts myself. I do my own mining. Um, and um, I'm just some quick advice. You need to do the math on this stuff before you do it. People have been asking about this. Um, a lot of the contracts are completely pointless and straight up worthless. It's like completely obvious if you actually run the numbers properly. Um, there are some that if you are bullish um, could give you a very nice return over time. So Genesis Mining, thats I just wanted to touch on that because I don't talk about it a lot. And it seems like a lot of people uh, in this space are always asking about it, want to know um, what I think about it. And um, the, the way I see it is I think you're better off just uh, sticking a single GPU in your own machine. I think you'll get more out of it um, than doing this. You'll also learn more and uh, you will um, actually contribute to the network yourself, um, whichever network you choose to contribute to. So um, I'm a much bigger fan of that because it's a, a better decentralization. Um, every contract that Gen Genesis Mining gets centralizes um, the whole concept just a little bit more. And uh, they also, you know, there just isn't really that good of a return uh, to be honest in most of these cases unless the price goes up significantly with that being said uh, the only one that I w um, can give a thumbs up on right now if you're considering it and if you're bullish on it you have to be those two things would be dash right now the dash contracts aren't that bad uh, when you run the numbers ethereum right now um, I would run uh, run from at the moment on here the math does not pencil out whatsoever and um, so don't do it. Um, you know, consider consider um, doing a deal with a friend, maybe. Maybe you got to go in together on a machine. Uh, maybe your friend already mines. Maybe he'll sell you a contract, um, give you a little bit of what he's mining uh, for some money up front. All right? Because isn't that what you're doing here? So, you know, maybe you help a buddy out. Maybe it's a win-win. Um, and that's my best advice on the Genesis mining. Uh, moving on, uh, Vitalik did his Q2 roundup on the Ethereum blog. For your Ethereum lovers out there, uh, definitely go check it out. Blog.ethereum.org. Um, you're going to find Vitalik's uh, latest post. Kind of fascinating, actually. It seems like things have kind of slowed down. He's taking some time to actually talk to the community. Uh, doing the roundup, he had that Reddit post and things like that, um, and he just kind of does a nice little recap of Q2. Also talks a little bit about uh, Metropolis um, and how they're really ramping that up. They're actually looking to bring on more devs and things like that. So um, really fascinating uh, read, and uh, especially if you're really hardcore into Ethereum, uh, this is a must read uh, for you today. So make sure you guys go check that one out. Um, also in the news, uh, Russia um, politicians are publicly talking about um, legalizing um, Bitcoin and Ethereum um, and removing the taxation to let it be more free market, trying to follow the trend that uh, China and Japan and Korea um, are, are following right now. Um, which is which is great and they're publicly open about it. I think it's it's just so fascinating guys, right? We uh, um, many of us that watch this channel um, in this little community here uh, live in live in America, and we don't ever hear anything come out of our government about any of this stuff. And we're supposed to be the leaders in the world on all this stuff. At least that's what they tell us, right? Well, it's, we're not. We are very far behind, um, and our uh, laws and regulation um, will continue to suppress any opportunity to um, capitalize on it. So definitely something to think about, not just in the crypto sphere, and, but more on the uh, blockchain technology sphere in that um, there's a lot of money to be made, of course, um, in, in uh, blockchain and cryptocurrency investments. But there are companies, traditional companies, that will profit greatly from the technology. Um, but all of those companies aren't going to do business here in the United States. Um, you know, uh, when you guys are considering uh, what type of funds to put your money into uh, for the long haul, um, you know, some of you actually have control of your 401ks and things like that. It's only a consideration. I'm not telling you to do it. I'm not giving investing advice. 
but it is something to question and ask yourself, am I diversified in a way that I can leverage um, a potential economic flip um, between now and when you retire? What's it going to be like in 20 years? Uh, will Russia be the king because they're making the right moves right now? Well, will China and Japan and Korea um, come together and start leading the way um, in blockchain technology because they've already clearly uh, supported it and made uh, many decisions headed in the right direction. You know, here we are in America and technically we're getting like double taxation on our digital currencies um, and it's just not helping anyone and it's not attracting anyone to the space. Uh, we have some forward thinking people in in this country for sure we have some individual states that are doing everything they can to attract this technology to to bring the companies in um, but uh, you know it's it's hard to to, to fight against your own uh, government um, and it's, it's 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 complicated it's just really complicated uh, to set up a blockchain or cryptocurrency business here uh, we're already suppressed from being able to participate in many ICOs because no one wants to deal with us. That's how bad America's gotten. They just don't even want to deal with us anymore. And so all that money is going elsewhere and bolstering the economy, is providing new jobs, new opportunities. And these are good freaking jobs. <laughs> Let me make sure that's clear. This is not, um, you know, uh, you know, a, 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 a marketing associate job out of college or a um, graphic design job out of college. Like, this is like top-notch jobs, right? That are going to be created and are being created in this space. And they are all leaving our country. They are not coming here. Um, you know, I've, I've questioned whether I would leave the country for that opportunity myself if that type of uh, opportunity came along. And um, just because it's not going to happen here anytime soon. It's not like I'm going to wake up one day and have it. The only way I'll wake up and have an opportunity like that is a decentralized organization that I can join, right? Um, and contribute that way. Um, but at the end of the day, it's going to be hard if I want to take advantage of maybe like a company that's that's using blockchain technology. Like LuxTag is a great example where... Um, you know, they have a huge solution that actually applies to my industry uh, in, in anti-counterfeit using blockchain, actually on the NEM platform, actually. Um, and, you know, that would that's the kind of opportunity that would be very, very interesting and makes sense for me. Um, but it's definitely something where um, I'd have to pack my bags and leave the country if I want to work for a company because a company like that isn't going to set up shop here. Um, if I'm not going to do a blanket, blanket statement and say that it won't happen. There will definitely be some companies. It's just, you know, uh, the number of opportunities are so limited. It's much more likely to happen where I may have to leave the country if that's actually what I want to pursue. But hopefully... Hopefully uh, a decentralized uh, opportunity comes along because I'd love to continue to do what I do professionally and um, have the opportunity to contribute to a decentralized organization as well on the side. So uh, so moving on, just a fun, fun little ICO. I like fun little ICOs sometimes, guys. Uh, simple ICOs like this. We got ico.trueflip.io here, and it's a crowd sale, and essentially it's just a lottery straight up you know there's a lot of gambling sites and things like that you guys are familiar with but this is just a straight up old fashion lottery and uh, they're having a little trouble actually uh, gaining the amount of uh, Bitcoin they're aiming for they got 20 more days but right now you're getting a 20% bonus um, and essentially you're gonna get paid out a percentage um, I believe they're given 20% to um, everyone that uh, signs up there's a nice white paper I read through all of it and actually all makes beautiful sense. Um, the only downside, I'll be honest, is when you there's a nice little calculator down here you can use. You can type in how many tokens you want to get. So maybe you just want to dip your toe into it. So I did the minimum amount, sort of the minimum amount. I was like, okay, maybe someone wants 100 tokens and you would get a 20% bonus right now, as of right now. You'd have 120. Well, 
based on the low threshold of daily tickets sold, you know, they're, this is what they're saying you're going to get in a year. Well, the ticket sold right now isn't even close to the low end of this calculator. So it's kind of cool because, yes, you could put some money in and potentially have some super long-term passive income. However, if no one ever really uses the site um, and it just kind of sits there, it could take years and years and years for you to get your initial investment back. On the off chance this explodes, um, you'll have a very, very nice passive income. So it's a little bit of a gamble. Oh, pun intended there, guys. Uh, a little bit of a gamble to do this ICO on this gambling uh, website here. So um, check it out, though. Um, it may be for you. It might be. Um, let me know what you guys think of TrueFlip. All right, guys, um, and that's pretty much it for the news. Uh, just trying to keep it a little bit short, a little bit quick. Again, uh, hang in there in these markets. Even uh, Let's take a look. Even since we've been talking, uh, see if there's any significant movement. Things are pretty steady, not up or down since we started, but um, uh, hang in there. Don't get discouraged if you're in the markets. Um, if you believe in this stuff, you, you bought it because you believe in it, so you should hold it until you die, right? Because you should never invest what you're not willing to lose, right? So if that's true, if you really believe that deep down, you don't care. You're probably making yourself a nice little sandwich right now and uh, watching a movie. So, all right, guys, I appreciate you so much. If you enjoy the news like this, please subscribe. Uh, make sure you give me a nice thumbs up. Leave some comments below. The the Man, we had an all-time high for comments recently on a video. I think we had over 50 comments on one of my videos, and that's just awesome. So much fun to be talking with you guys and having good quality conversations. So keep on keeping on with the comments, and uh, come come hang out on Steemit as well. It's just like Reddit. If you love Reddit, you'll love Steemit. The only difference is, is that the entire community is basically really into blockchain technology and cryptocurrency. You're going to learn a lot there. Um, I'm learning a ton uh, there. Uh, I, I've been learning a lot about EOS and things like that on there that blow my mind. Stuff that it's, you know, Reddit's kind of lost its lost touch with itself. It's all about making money now, even all the cryptocurrency and blockchain and um, even the Ethereum Reddit and the Bitcoin Reddit is just, it's complete chaos. And man, over, over on Steemit, it's like back to the, you know, back to the meat and potatoes of what we're actually trying to do here we're really talking about the technology and uh, there's just good stuff over there so make sure you guys check that out all right that's it from me um tomorrow i'm going to be trying to do a live stream i'm going to be uh scheduling that uh let me go ahead and schedule that now let's do um uh man it's hard because i know so many people on the other side of the world want to participate um, but I'm going to try to make it so I can get as many as I can in Europe and in America. Um, I don't know. It, it's really tough to pick a time. Well, it's tough to pick a time because um, I can't please everyone. And I, not everyone stays up that late. But it is the weekend. So I don't know. Let's do. Uh, let's shoot for 8 p.m. Let's do 8 p.m. And that way, um, for those of you staying late on the East Coast, you're still... Uh, can hang out with me while you're getting ready for bed um, and um, maybe we can pick up some of those people waking up um, overseas uh, we're gonna miss you miss you guys over in Europe feel free to wake up in the middle of the night though um, we're gonna miss you guys but I'll, I'll try to schedule one um, much earlier in the future and that's something that I want to do for you guys is have some actual live open question and answers and just just hang out a little bit share some information check some things out together and just have a good conversation back and forth so i'll come back tomorrow schedule that in pin that in let's do that tomorrow 8 p.m pacific standard time in the wonderful wonderful world of the youtube's live stream okay all right guys well i appreciate you so much i'm gonna go get myself a late dinner and I hope you guys are having an awesome week. And I hope you had a great 4th of July as well this week. Hope you guys are staying safe. All right. Until next time, I am the King of Dew. May the Force be with you.